Alright, so in this video we're going to look at uh, doing a stem and leaf plot in Excel. <clears throat> now, the first thing we want to do when we do a stem and leaf plot is we need to figure out what the minimum and maximum value is. So let's go ahead and find the minimum and maximum. All right, so for the minimum, we'll hit equals, and then we'll use the min function. You can see that returns the smallest number in a set of values. So I'll do my parentheses, and then here's my data. Close parentheses, enter. So we can see the smallest number is 10, and then the maximum and remember when we type in a formula we hit, we hit equals and then the type in the function so for the maximum I'll do the same thing hit enter and you can see my maximum value is 60 alright so let's go ahead and do a stem and leaf plot and we'll we'll do it right here I guess so Let's go ahead and we will do the, the stems. Okay. There's the stem. And here is the column for the leaves. All right. So I'm going from, well, my minimum value is 10. My maximum value is 60. So I'm going to need a 1, a 2, and I could type them all the way down. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But, you know, if you have a bunch of them to type down here, you can, you can get the pattern going. You can type in the 1 and then the next number, and then highlight them. And then you see the little right corner here? You see how the plus changes? So what we do is when it changes to that little plus right there on the bottom right corner I just hold my left mouse button down and drag and you can see it automatically does it for me alright now let's look at this and let's, I guess we'll go ahead and maybe center that up alright now when we're recording the data on a stem and leaf plot, let's just look, uh, I don't know, maybe in the in the tens. Uh, well, let's see what all we have. We've got 18, 17, 15, 10, 13, and 14. So what I would enter there is we could put a space there and I do zero okay and then let's see what was the other ones we had a 10 and then let's see we've got a 13 so a 3 we've got a 14 for 4 uh, 15 for 5 uh, let's see, I don't see a 16, but we got a 17, so a 7, and an 18, 8. Okay, let me move this and make this column a little bit wider. Well, I put it in the wrong cell, didn't I? Let me move it on over to this one. Okay. Alright, so what this does is this tells me I have the number 10. 13, 14, 15, 17, and 18, okay? And, yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. We could we could sort the data, and we could fill this in pretty quick like that. But what if you had, you know, one or 200 values, okay? So that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at creating a formula over here to count that. And but before we, before we do that, let's go ahead and, uh, 
get this looking a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to put a border right here on the right hand side. So there's a there's a couple of ways we could do it. I can right click on it and hit format cells and then you can see their border so I can click here and let's just make it a, make it a thicker line so we'll click this thicker line here and we'll come over here and click it again and hit OK and so now you can see it puts a line there and separates the stem and the leaves alright so there, there, there we went and we, we typed in everything but let's let's do it using a formula and this this formula is it's it's pretty long we're going to use the repeat function and the count if function we're going to combine them so the uh, the, re the the repeat function what it does is you t you just tell it which text value you want it to repeat and you tell it how many times you want it to repeat it okay and uh, well you can see here well, if we type equals and then repeat and close our parentheses so you can see it's the text and the number of times that we want it to repeat okay alright so here our text for for this is going to be zero because we want it what we're going to have it do is we're we're going to re use the repeat function I'm going to put the text here and then for the number of times I'm going to use the count if function it's going to go through here and count how many tens are in here okay and what it will do is it will return a number and then it's going to go through here and count the 11s 12s 13s and when it counts the 11s it's going to tell the number of times the, the 11 appears okay and then I'm going to have it put a 1 there that many times and I'll explain it more as I'm typing the formula in but so here I've got the repeat function and so I'm going to put this in quotes because I want a space between each number so we put it in quotes and then a space and then I want it to return a zero and then close my quotes so that's the text that I want it to repeat is the zeros and then I hit my comma and now I need the number of times so what I'm gonna have it do is see a zero is gonna go in here for each ten okay so I need it to count the number of tens so I'll use the count if function close my parentheses now I need to select the range that I want it to look through well here's my range so I'll highlight this okay and I need it to uh, I need it to stay A2 through A20 in other words I'm going to copy this formula down and in Excel when you copy the formula down the row numbers will change well I don't want those row numbers to change so what I can do is I can hit F4 and you, you see how it put the dollar signs here now on my keyboard I had to hold down the FN button and then hit F4 you may just have to hit the F4 on your keyboard I don't know it depends on you know what you have but when you do that it puts these dollar signs here so what that's gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna make it to where these row numbers won't change and yes it put it in front of the column like column A that that's for like if we copied it across uh, then the columns would stay the same but we don't really have to worry about that alright so there's my there's my range okay that I'm that I'm wanting it to look through now comma now the criteria well I want it to go through and count all the numbers that are 10 okay so 
I'm not going to go through and just type the number 10. I'm going to I'm going to create a way for uh, to write the number 10 using this cell here. Well, this cell here is the number 1. Well, I know that 1, see I'm referencing F5, okay, where the 1 is. Well, I know 1 times 10 is 10. Okay? <coughs> so that would that would go through and count the number that will go look for the number 10. But I'm going to have to use this this formula again. I'm going to have to copy it again to go through and look for the 11s. Well, 1 times 10, okay, well, I would need to do what? 1 times 10 is 10 plus 1. Okay, that would give me the 11. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put plus 0. Okay. And and that's that's going to keep the formula consistent. So and, and you'll see when I start copying it over. All right. And so now I'm going to close the parentheses for the count if, and then close the parentheses for the repeat. Okay. So let's see what that does if I hit enter. Okay. And you can see it puts a one zero there because there's one ten. <coughs> All right, so let's go back in here. I'm going to double click to get back to my formula. <clears throat> All right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to use this same formula. Okay, so I'm going to copy this so I don't have to retype it again. And I'm going to hit Control C to copy it. And then I'll, I'll, I can click up here in this task, in this uh, formula bar. And I'm going to join it with and. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Control V. All right. So now I'm wanting it to look through here for 11s, and then if there's an 11, to repeat the number one. Okay. So this needs to be changed to a one, and then to get to 11, well, that's what one times 10 is 10 plus one. Is 11 okay all right so you see that all right now I need to paste it again and then this one will be changed to a 2 and this one here will be changed to a 2 but what I'm gonna do you notice when I copied it the first time I had to type this and symbol and then paste it well to keep from doing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to recopy it with the AND symbol in there. And then that way I don't have to type it. So I hit Control C. Okay. And then I'm going to paste. And then this will be changed to a 3. I'm sorry, not a 3. A 2. And this will be changed to a 2. And then I can click here, and I hit Control V, and so now I have the three, and this will be a three. So that's going to have it look. This right here is going to have it look for the number thirteen. See, F five is one. One times ten is ten. Plus three is thirteen. And for every thirteen, however many thirteens this returns, that's how many times it's going to repeat. The number three. All right, and so we just gotta, you just gotta keep going. You gotta do the four, and the four, and then we'll paste and we'll do the five, and the five, and then we'll paste for the six. And yes, this is a, I know it's a long formula, but once you get it typed one time, then we can just copy it down. And now the 7, and the 7, that would be for the number 17, and then we can paste, and then we have the 8, and the 8, okay, that's
ask for the number 18 and then paste and then the last one the 19 all right and so that's our formula and so we can hit enter and let's see what happens and there it is so see we have the number 10 13 14 15 17 and 18 all right so now you see since in the formula right here how I'm multiplying by this cell here so when I copy it down see that F5 is going to change to F6 so it's going to be 2 times 10 which would be 20 okay and then we're adding see here we're adding 0 so that's going to look for the numbers the number 20 and then here we're adding 1 so that would be looking for the 21 okay and so all we do is copy it down and since we have numbers in these cells here all we have to do to copy it down is right here the right hand corner see how the plus changes I just put my mouse on it and double click and there it is and there's my stem and leaf plot okay now what we what we probably want to do here is when you do a, a stem and leaf plot is we need to give it some kind of key to let it know what it so, so we'll know what it is so we'll come up here and we'll put I don't know let's just do the four and let's put a space two so it looks like it does down here okay and we'll put the two and we can put represents 42 years old since we're dealing with ages and so now that's telling us how this is read okay and so let's go ahead and click in here and let's right click and let's put a border on it just like we did the uh, our stem and leaf plot so I'll go ahead and do the bold and there and hit OK and there is our stem and leaf plot alright so I hope this video helped uh, yes the the formula is it's a long formula but once you type it in one time then I mean you've got it now if you have other data okay and and really no matter you know no matter what you've got here well I mean I guess it could make a difference if you get into the hundreds uh, you would have to modify this up a little bit you would have to change the 10 to a hundred okay but uh, but if you're if you're working from zero to in the 90s all you have to do is just change these and the formula will automatically change I mean I mean the formula adapts to it uh, and then you just copy it down so you know once you have it written one time then then you're good to go all right so uh, hope this helped uh, if it did you can check out my other videos and subscribe all right thanks